throughout time, the apple has served as a symbol for both good and bad. Temptation, sin, revival, even love. It's also been said that an apple a day helps keep the doctor away. Well, yes and no. For Dr. David Pitts, a sleep medicine specialist in Swanee, Georgia, the apple has become a lifeline of sorts, a means to economic prosperity, and as we'll touch upon a bit later, a new lease on life. We developed a sustainability model where we take the apple and our, the, the motto of our company is, we take them to the core. And that is what we do. We take the apple, we grind it, press it, we make juice products as well as apple butter and apple sauce uh, to round out the apple. We're still trying to figure out what to do with the stem seeds and peels, but I'm sure we'll come up with something. What David has already come up with is a promising business known as Pitts Original and Them Apples. Products include apple butter, apple juice, apple cider vinegar. Bottom line, if the recipe calls for apples, chances are David will try to make it. He tells me his relationship with apples all started the moment he consumed his very first bottle of hard cider. One sip, that's all it took. And from there, the Pitts original brand was born. Naturally, when one hears of David's story and the fact he's a doctor, they often wonder and question, what does someone in medicine know about agriculture or ag-related products? Simple answer, David, who was from Missouri, actually has a farming background. My father bought a farm back in, uh, in the 50s, uh, and that farm has stayed in the family, uh, and we found a perfect spot of land there for an orchard of 280 trees, uh, and uh, we put that in maybe two or three years ago. They're now starting to bear fruit, and uh, that's going to be another source of uh, interest as I transition into my next stage here. I'm hesitant to set a goal. Uh, I, I want to just take it, see where it goes. And I think, you know, there's so much to be gained from developing relationships, finding people that love doing the same thing that you do. And there's a network out there that I'm discovering that I want to be part of. Um, what, I don't want it to become something that's onerous. I want it to be something that we can truly enjoy, that it's something that is fun and not stressful and uh, I think we're on our way to doing that. Now, aside from all the health benefits of apples, this business, this adventure involving apples has so many benefits for David related to his health. You see, in 2007, at the age of 49, David suffered a massive heart attack and tells me he is lucky to be alive. Suffice it to say, Pitts Original, it's more than just a brand, it's therapy for David. It is therapy. I enjoy coming and just not having to think, just do something. And that it does allow thought process to come in. Uh, some people think that I'm just completely obsessed with projects, and I think that I am. I think that going through an experience like that, where you know you know that how life is so tenuous, that you take on opportunities as it may be your last. And I didn't, don't want to be morbid about it, but you know there's a lot of things that I would like to do before that time happens, and. This happens to be one of them. David, however, isn't alone on this journey. Right by his side are the people that mean the most to him, his wife and children. They all play a role in the success of Pitt's original. And according to David, they all have one common goal, and that's to make the business a part of the family legacy. Big kudos to my wife, Dana. She's a, uh, my director of possibilities and uh, she always has good ideas. So I stick with the ideas and do the work and we make progress. We all have our different areas that we can bounce things off of and it's fun to have something that we can you know, bring together when we get together. In Doraville for the Farm Monitor, I'm Ray D'Alessio.